I kind of got into art very naturally. Um, my dad was a painter. He painted uh, cars in, at, a, at a body shop and became a big fan of graffiti and I would try to draw my little letters. And I ended up going into art school and from there I ended up interning with Shepard for a while. And, and now I'm at this point where it's like I'm doing my solo stuff, working on my on political projects and then my solo projects are in, in a way they are political but they're more in a social way images help unite people and you can see that clearly in uh and what Shepard has done with the Obama hope image you know it's like I don't know if Obama would have won the primary without the image you know because that really just kind of grabs people together you know and, and I was in the middle when all that was going on and, and, and that's where I was like damn like images are strong you know and, like, if, it, if it's done right it can have a huge potential you know so that's kind of I was very inspired by that campaign So this is one of the We Are Human images, and uh, this is a little girl, and in the actual photo, it's her and her mom, but we liked how like cute she looked, and so we took her, put her with holding flowers, and these, these roses actually represent dignity. Well, we are human, like we're the same as you, so if you're doing that to, you, to us, you're doing that to yourself, you know, because we're the same worth. That actually is uh, us referencing the, the Black Civil Rights Movement. So saying like, I am a man, I'm a full man, you know, so. When it comes to us, we feel like um, the reason that people that are against uh, uh, immigrants, they're doing it because they don't see them as human. They don't see them that they're the same equal as them. They think that they're less than them, you know. So that's why we came up, we are human, like we're the same as you. So if you're doing that to, to us, you're doing that to yourself, you know, because we're, we're the same worth. If you see an image telling you something, essentially that's like your own translation of it. And if it's something that, that like is along the lines of what you're feeling, it's gonna reach you no matter what, you know, because it's like your own voice portraying it. It's, it's not someone else telling you; it's your own like conscious telling you what that image means. And I think it gives it a d deeper connection than just someone telling you vocally. Recently, it's like the politics are kind of what tells me, what, like gives me an idea of what to do as far as when I'm working on a piece. For instance, that Chicano X piece I did, it's my homage to, to Malcolm X. And it's in, a, it's in a whole different light. It's like, it's, it's for my show, and the show is about ganas. The whole premise of the show is it's almost in the future where the Chicano people have really found the, the impact of ganas and the importance of ganas in, like, in the Chicano uh, community. And at this point, in that image, like, ganas has become a, a tangible object where people know that it's 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 replaced money essentially you know so people know they want their hands on it because they can do anything they want with it they can get anything they want with it and Ghana simply just translates to motivation and uh, persistence and just keeping your eye on the prize you, know, you feel like a lot of people could group around that image and then it gives that image strength and it gives you strength it forces almost solidarity within your people in the same movement. You know, it's like, maybe you don't agree on everything, but you can agree that the image says what you're trying to say. Mm -hmm.